Hey guys, I decided to uh, put up a quote, another quote today for my novel just because um, I wanted to and um, this one will take a bit more explaining because this one's a bit more personal. Um, last time I know I started far away from the camera and then I got closer. Um, but I think I'm going to do the opposite this time. Read the quote first and then come away from the camera um, to explain it. Um, this quote I'm about to read is from is from Clayton. It's when we first see him at 30 um, and what his life's been for the past years since we left him at 16. And it's one of my favorite quotes in the book. It says this. Fear. It's a strange thing. It's a strange thing when you're alone in the dark. when the walls are closing in around you. And you feel, and you feel, and you feel like your world is all, is about to, explode at the same time Fear can be all fear can also be comforting like a security blanket or even a good friend who will stop you from doing something stupid like jumping off a bridge or running from someone who's trying to do you harm? Um, ah, uh, this quote about fear. Oh my gosh. Um, let's talk about the novel first. This quote comes from, uh, like I said, uh, when we first see Clayton. And he's waiting, and he's waking from a nightmare. Um, he's very shaken up, and he's talking about how he now has PTSD from the war. And it's my favorite quote because it's so powerful. Because it's true, fear can be both a good thing and a bad thing. And then after this, he goes on to explain the whole, um, how PTSD has affected his life and how, how he, he's depressed some days and whatever. And, um, when I was writing this quote, um, to let you all know that I am a very instinctive writer, which means I work mostly by instinct. I do some research, um, as you have to as a writer when you're writing about something you don't know, just to make sure you get it right. But most of the time, uh, personally, I write by instinct, and 
and uh, personal experience. And also, I've never had PTSD, never known someone with PTSD. I have struggled from with panic attacks. Uh, paralyzing panic attacks where you can't breathe, your heart is pumping, and everything is just seems like it's closing in on you. And, um, and that's where I came from with this quote, quote, um, from Clayton about fear because, um, although it's, it wasn't spawned from PTSD, although I've never been to war, I've had those same feelings where you can't seem to get your breath and you're alone and, um, and you're just, it just feels like the whole world's closing in on you. So that's what, that's why I find this quote interesting about fear. Um, it's, it's like, um, it's like, I, I poured some of myself in to Clayton when writing this quote and that's why this quote is one of my favorites because it's one of the few quotes in this novel who, that totally um, relates to me personally so I think that's why I connect to it so well. I'm going to read the quote again just because um, my reading of it before was kind of choppy and I really want you guys to understand it and to, and to see where I'm coming from with it. Um, fear. It's a strange thing when you're alone in the dark, when the walls are closing in around you and you feel like your world is about to explode. At the same time, fear can also be comforting, like a security blanket or even a good friend who will stop you from doing something stupid like jumping off a bridge or running from someone who's trying to do you harm. So that's the quote again. So guys, have a good day. I just forgot. I thought I said I was going to move from the camera so you guys can actually see my face, but I got so wrapped up in what I was saying, I forgot to move. Uh, so thank you guys. Thank you all for supporting me. The book is now up to 239 views and I'm so, I'm so amazed and so grateful and so thankful to God and you all for your support. As usual below this video, I will put the link to the to the ink it spot where you can read my book. Have a great day guys. Bye.